Robinson and today I'm going to be showing you a great idea that you can do with my new Rumor Antique bezels. So I really like the idea of stacking bezels and that's where you actually adhere one bezel into another bezel and then fill it with artwork or other found objects. So what you'll need for this project is a large backed bezel, a small backed bezel, you will want ice resin, and you're going to need something to cut the bale off of this with. I simply used a pair of wire cutters. They work perfect. As you can see, I went ahead and I put the artwork already in the back of this bezel and I just tacked it down with a little bit of glue just to hold it in place so when I'm working with the layered bezel on top of that, the paper doesn't shift within that bottom layer. So once I have that done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a little bit of resin into the smaller bezel because I'm going to put some rhinestones in this. Now that I have the resin in, I'm going to go ahead and put just a few strands of rhinestones in. And this is just going to add a little bit of depth to the piece on top. And then you could certainly add something like a word to the center of it, or you could add a vintage button, say, or even any kind of finding would look really great. The thing I love most about these bezels is they really do not inhibit your ability to fill them with whatever you want to. You're really not limited to what you can put into the bezels, which is really great because if you had anything that was an heirloom piece, you could pop that in. Family photos, of course, are really great. We always just suggest to you that you make a photocopy or have a color copy made of that photo because you don't want to put your original. I have my rhinestones in my smaller bezel, and I think I'm just going to leave it as it is because I may want to add a word into this later or perhaps a little button that has meaning to it. So now that this is all done, I want to add a little bit of resin, which I've pre-mixed, into my bezel. And just make sure you always mix your resin for two minutes. And it's a nice folding motion. It's not a whipping and it's not a fast stir. It's just a real comfortable fold. I'm going to place just a small layer of resin. And I'm using my craft stick just so I can really control it. Because what I'm going to do is place the smaller bezel into the larger bezel and I'm just adding a little bit of pressure and when I do this I may see that the resin comes up to the sides a little bit. If you have any spillage just wipe it off with a little baby wipe or a moist wipe and it will take it right off. So let this dry for 6 to 12 hours or until it's nice and dry to the touch and then you can add a word into the center and put another layer of resin into it. I guess if you could put a button in, really anything that you can think of that you'd like to add to your piece of jewelry to make it personal. I hope you've enjoyed this and have fun playing with the bezels from Rue Romantique.